Hello. Hello everybody. This is Chris again. Uh, I hope uh, this improved. Uh, let's see. live so I'm just going to uh, record this okay if somebody wants to join they can join here okay. so uh, actually I'm having problems again with the audio so I have to resort to other means of doing my uh, video vlog uh, okay. so tonight is a midnight talk to I'm supposed to be doing one episode this uh, earlier. However, because of audio uh, problems, I have to uh, uh, opt not to uh, do a, uh, an episode of my life's journey. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing the midnight talk. So what's the difference between the life, my life's journey and the midnight talk? Uh, this midnight talk, so that you will be aware, this midnight talk is actually uh, about what happened on this day, today, well, the, my life journey are a recap of the things that's happening uh, uh, on my life, okay? So those are uh, uh, the things that uh, differs the two uh, videos. But anyway, I will try my best to have this, uh, to have a scheduled video on time and earlier but anyway midnight talk will not be early actually it will be early because it will be uh, ending early in the morning actually that's a uh, this is show of, of two days today and tomorrow okay so you'll be asking why i spent time uh, talking during at this time it's like i'm a vampire no it's not that that I'm a vampire is because of my uh, health condition and that is I have to uh, sleep in the morning and then uh, wake up in the evening and then making sure that uh, I take care of my body because I have a uh, ileostomy and then I have a colostomy bag because of my uh, disease okay so hopefully this uh, uh, this live video Next time I'll do some, uh, make some props probably, I have some props here so I can uh, show you some things that I'm doing for today. So uh, what happened early in the morning is that I woke up, uh, I slept uh, uh, earlier, however I have to wake up early in the morning at around, actually it was around 4, uh, uh, 3.30 that I woke up and then I have to uh, be ready by 4 o'clock to leave because uh, I need to be in the hospital because that's my first day for the radiotherapy and then uh, two doctors already reminded me uh, yesterday on, uh, on my schedule and they don't want me to miss that schedule so what happened is that I went to the hospital that early but before I went to the hospital I was able to catch up the 5 o'clock mass and that is in uh, the, Black, the minor basilica of the Black Nazarene in Quiapo. Okay, so if you're a Catholic, you go to church. So that's, that's the first time that uh, the presiding priest uh, was able to uh, understand uh, what he's uh, talking about because every time that he uh, uh, preside over a mass, it's very hard for me to understand. Uh, I didn't understood what he's saying, but anyway, there are a few people, uh, I understood the priest. He said that uh, if we talk during a Mass and we do not concentrate in praying, we won't be able to understand what the lesson uh, of the sermon. And I believe in that is real. For me, uh, we have to be quiet and we have to listen because if we don't listen to what the priest say or our uh, uh, 
class per se, then you will not be able to grasp the real message. And because it was so, uh, there are only very few, okay, social, not, not because of social distancing, but uh, really a few people go to church on a Wednesday, especially early in the morning at 5 o'clock. Okay. The last time that I did that, when I was uh, with my grandmother, Lola Bilen in Haena Basia, uh, I spent my, some, some of my summer vacation uh, in my grandmother's house okay, and with my cousin Leonard. Okay? And that's my cousin who lives in Australia. So I've been seeing him for a long time. But anyway, so that's the last time that uh, uh, with my grandmother that I go to church that early, except for some masses during Christmas, Simbang uh, Gabi, okay, the night masses during Christmas. So uh, I understood what the priest says, and then uh, then after listening, then I was able to uh, catch up the, on uh, on Jesus' uh, message to all of us, okay. That we do our work very, uh, we do our work diligently uh, for other people and also for us. So afterwards, what happened is that uh, it's almost uh, six o'clock because of my appointment is seven o'clock. So what happened is that I uh, went to uh, to uh, to the other end of the church, uh, and that is the Carriedo Street. So uh, the public station of LRP. So when I went there, so I took a uh, an air conditioned ride. So and then beside me was a uh, sister, okay? and and uh, gladly uh, we talked to each other. And she said she would pray for me, and she was surprised that I look healthy. Okay? But anyway, that's the meaning of life. Okay that to be healthy but the inside is not healthy but anyway so uh, afterwards when I uh, I got off the uh, hospital then uh, I have to wait usually when you are in the hospital I just keep on waiting and waiting and uh, I had my um, uh, I had to wait for the doctor so almost 7 past 7 that the doctor arrives and then uh, I got to see a lot of patients because uh, because it's, a, uh, it's early in the morning and then most of the patients are ready, getting ready for the radiotherapy. Some of them are getting ready for the cancer treatment. Okay. So uh, what happens here next is that uh, afterwards then I, uh, uh, the doctor came and then they had to, to do a procedure what we call a CT scan. So that's the first thing that they did to me during the radiotherapy a session which is actually the radiotherapy will last for 30 days and then they did a CT scan. CT scan again, you know, I like CT scan because it will be able to, the doctors uh, will be able to see what's uh, wrong with my body. However, I don't like going having a CT scan because of my stroke and uh, because my left hand is affected and uh, because of this last update, it's very hard for me to position it properly. So I have to stay in a, a position like this, but I cannot place my hand. My hand can, I can place this hand, but this one, this one, I can't, okay? You see my hand, it's almost uh, normal, but it's painful. I raise it already, uh, just a few uh, inches. Now it's very painful. So just to uh, tell you, uh, it's painful. Okay, I cannot, uh, mm, I can show the pain, but there is pain. So I have to position my hand this way, and the left hand is positioned much lower. So, and I have to be uh, fitted on a small hole of the CT scan machine. Okay, so you know how the CT scan machine looks like. I will be showing you a picture of it next time. Okay, uh, probably I will have my uh, laptop ready. For, uh, so that you will uh, continue, okay? So I have done the CT scan and and what they did is uh, check on me, okay? You know, I have to drink a lot of water during the CT scan because uh, they would be able to see the different parts of my body if I don't have 
of fluid inside of it so I have to drink a liter of water with contrast in it so they have to uh, have to drink uh, all the water and then I have to uh, uh, make sure that I don't uh, go to the bathroom okay so and afterwards uh, after see this kind of what they did is they put some markers okay markers uh, red markers okay so that is the marker so that when they do the radiotherapy it will be easy for the radiologist because the one is going to uh, uh, who is the person in charge of radiating my, the part of my body which has a, uh, a disease so the markers okay three markers okay and then so that it will be a guide a guide and afterwards okay uh, I left the hospital you know to receive the doctor came and then told me uh, are you still in the hospital I told the doctor I can come back <laughs> okay so uh, I'm already uh, almost I took a jeep here died uh, going home but what happened is that uh, the, the doctor messaged me but uh, I told him that I can go back but instead he told me that uh, I can just return. So I'm very lucky that uh, I have my uh, uh, the doctor told me uh, just to wait for their uh, message when I'm going to come back and prepare for my radiotherapy sessions. I was uh, hoping it will be done tomorrow again but glad, uh, gladly I can prepare uh, before it starts because really I can I a while uh, a while ago in the morning when before I went to see this kind of source patients really uh, some there are two patients who graduated meaning they finished their session of the radiotherapy for 30 days some cannot finish it they have to uh, uh, because of their problems uh, financially and then and some there are really in a wheelchair okay so so sad but uh, I tell you, okay, uh, the staff in the hospital um, is uh, is always there to keep uh, to give us a lending hand by uh, putting our spirit in back. Okay, uh, and there was one uh, particular staff, okay, I don't know, uh, head nurse or whoever he is, but I always saw him. That he always tell a story. Okay? He's a big person, and you would say. Uh, he's a maton, okay, uh, and you will get scared because he's very big. However, when he starts to talk, you always tell uh, the patient what to what, uh, give suggestion to help the patient. He knows that a lot of uh, patients uh, in Jose Reyes are poor uh, financially, and then some do not know what to do, and uh, some are very confused what's next what's next what what's next they just want to be cured but what's next so i, I also happened to have that experience uh, uh, when i was uh, taking care of my paperwork so i know how it feels and then he told one of the patients to uh, uh, to do this kind of procedure so that he can get some help and he doesn't mind if it's how you dress or if you uh, look like a rich person or a poor person he doesn't mind what he wants is who is the patient what he needs to be done okay, for the patient so uh, i'm glad that uh, i was able to uh, uh, to listen also because it tells a character of a person although uh, you don't know one person or another but you know some information that could help him or her and that's good and that's what i always do when i talk to patients there was one person with an ns uh npc okay what's npc uh, i think that i don't think it's a medical term so npc is the nasopharyngeal cancer so that person is the cancer a stage four already but when i look at you uh, there's no more uh, swelling and then the one who's company uh, the companion of the uh, of the guy uh, told me the story that uh, 
he was able was not able to upgrade easily because of the cancer cells and they, they had to put him uh, in all places just to uh, check on his uh, cancer cell and to cure it. Now he's going to undergo radiotherapy uh, together with me and then with other patients so we'll be scheduled. So, so, so very hard feeling uh, that uh, there are people uh, experiencing this that is able to share their story. And there's some uh, uh, a lady with this husband also sharing their story of uh, having problems in taking care of his wife, especially uh, during the dialysis. Because his wife, uh, his wife has a cancer, or also a cancer, and then doing dialysis. But because of his love for his wife, uh, he always uh, making sure that his wife is taken care of. And I saw that uh, to this guy. And then, and uh, I was uh, supposed to be the first one before them to do the CT scan. But I told them, hey, you go ahead, you be the first one. No worries. Okay. I'll be the last one. Okay? And I told them, they're fine. Uh, almost my same age, same age as mine. I'm older by one year, but uh, he looks really, really weak uh, and old because of uh, her disease. And we uh, pray for him and wish them uh, uh, well. And then uh, I told them not to give up because uh, they want to have some dialysis done in the hospital. However, it's so very hard to schedule dialysis because of the number of patients. And I told them to not give up on that. Okay? And uh, anyway, they are doing their dialysis. Uh, and now, uh, and hopefully, uh, uh, the wife will be uh, taken care of properly. Okay? So, and then during that time, I got a message also. So a message from one of my friends in the Boy Scouts, and that is the wife of uh, Sir Nixon Tanlapan, one of uh, my boss before when I was in the public relations office of the Boy Scouts of Philippines. And uh, his, uh, his wife, uh, we call it Pita Alice, and I knew, I knew her, and then I know that she has also cancer. And it was a long time uh, ago, I don't I believe it was uh, more than six years ago that I learned about it. But I think more than that. But I can't remember, okay? I can't remember uh, um, almost a decade ago that she has cancer. But uh, look, so more than 10 years that she has that uh, kind, kind of a problem. And then uh, she's a happy person, although she is sick, she works. Happy person. And, uh, and both the. Sir Nixon and Tita Alice is a, is a family man, a family, a good family. They raised their children uh, properly. And then uh, Sir Nixon knows how to cook as a cooking channel. Hopefully, I can talk to him. And hopefully, I could visit him tomorrow. Okay. I know it's so sad. Okay. And then. Uh, and that's that's her end. Everybody will go to that end, okay? Because she has cancer, I also have cancer. So that's where we're going to end. But we have to live our life. I want to be strong, although uh, I can feel the hurt. Really, it's hurting. Okay? Uh, if you see people that has cancer, and and this. Uh, the stuff that I was mentioning a while ago, this uh, big guy uh, was talking to one of the cancer patients and, and he advised her not to be up, to be strong. Okay? And then the doctor told her that uh, who has breast cancer uh, told her that she has only uh, two months to live, two or three months to live. And after five months, the lady came back and then the, uh, the staff, I told you, is more than two, uh, two months, and you're still here, and that's the, uh, that's the thing that sometimes it is 
us who have to do our best and then uh, so that we will live a longer life. And if we, if we uh, put ourselves in a depressive state, really it will stop. Even uh, take out our own life because of this. So what will happen next? Uh, and afterwards, after uh, leaving the hospital, after the CT scan, uh, uh, I went to uh, to accompany a friend in Hills to okay, take care of a uh, uh, home okay. and then I am not uh, I'm not uh, going around just to do uh, pasyal pasyal but uh, it's along the way anyway okay. anything that's along the way that's okay with me and also uh, I get to walk okay. it's very important that uh, uh, I have to uh, walk before and also do things okay normally later the doctor told me i can do normal things even though i have a colostomy bag so uh, that's what i did and then also uh, and afterwards after going to green pills okay and then uh, i had a small snack and then during the snack i have to look for the food Okay, which food I can eat and which food I cannot eat. So, uh, uh, I eat chicken actually. You know? So, so hard. So hard to uh, look for the right food to eat. Okay? And that's the uh, part of my life. Okay? And then afterwards, after going home, uh, we are supposed to be accompanying, we're supposed to be accompanying uh, my friend to Benjamin to help the uh, uh, to buy a phone, however, I told him I cannot because uh, I felt sleepy because I woke up too early. Okay, I just slept almost uh, three or four hours. Okay, and then also uh, I feel a little bit of a uh, tired, and then I thought I was going to have a fever. Okay, I just slept. I remember spending uh, one hour in the air-conditioned room where the CT scan is because if we're going to spend it, uh, uh, it's, the CT scan uh, has to be cooled by the air-conditioned machine so I have to be inside the machine for almost an hour. Okay? Almost an hour. So, it's tagal, no? Tagal to go on. But uh, it's so very painful because of my and it has to be uh, in a position where uh, it doesn't touch the machine. If it touches the machine, that will be a problem if I might have to. Okay. Uh, because I have to raise my hand so that you will be able to see the whole part of my body with the scan. Okay. Uh, so, so what I did, uh, so I slept. And then after sleeping, I woke up and then tried to prepare for my uh, third episode of my last journey, talking about uh, the different hospital that I visited. But however, I had to postpone it for tomorrow because of the problem of uh, uh, this, the audio. So, so, and then I have to. I was able to talk to my brother who is not here. That's half is out of the country, and we we spent uh, we were able to spend some time talking to each other, talking about uh, this project and this project is uh, building uh, bird houses. Okay, we told him that's very nice, and then he always shows me the bird houses, which I love. I love, and hopefully uh, I, uh, we can do a project together and put bird houses in our farm. Okay. Uh, giving the birds some uh, place to uh, put some nests because birds are very uh, in, uh, are very nice to see, very nice to hear, it's coming and then it also helps in the farm because birds uh, eat uh, worms, worms and insects that the, uh, the palai and some of the crops will be having problems with the pestle, you put birds so if people are killing birds then they are killing also the helpers this is the birds are helpers for farmers. People, uh, some people make them as pets. Some people uh, have the birds uh, killed because for food. 
and I think that we have to uh, 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 to have our connection with the animals. Okay? These are friendly animals. Uh, there was one time that there were owls in, my, in our province, but people are catching the owls, selling them, or giving them. Actually, owls are good for catching rats, actually. Uh, sorry to say, uh, many owls are the only time. So, um, uh, so that's my day, okay? What my day is. Hopefully, uh, next time I'll post this, the midnight talk three. I'll post it earlier. I did post it uh, late because the problem of the audio. Next time I'll do it. Okay. I'll try to do this up, uh, as often as I can. Uh, probably uh, from Monday to Friday or uh, if, if I don't have any problems during my chemotherapy or radiotherapy, I don't get to do it more often. This kind of video and then some sort of videos. Once I was able to uh, fix my audio problem with my laptop. Okay? If you have a laptop, I'm going to throw it away, I'll catch it. No, no, no. Let's just give it. Okay? So, give those laptops to those who are needy. I'm needy. And if you have one. Because things, uh, material things are not that uh, precious. Especially if, also, although they have sentimental values, but I believe electronic uh, gadgets just the uh, as a lifespan of just a shorter period of time changes. So give give those uh, 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 those electronic gadgets probably two, two to three years then it will be obsolete already. Okay? So buy real ones. Now I'm not promoting any brand here, I'm not promoting anything unless they sponsor me. But anyway, so uh, for those uh, who are listening, okay, I know that uh, we want to share things uh, here and I'm just learning how to use this because I'm always at the back of the camera doing editing and not always well in front of the camera. Okay. So this is the first time I did this at Facebook Live because I was thinking of doing a YouTube Live but Facebook is much easier and then you can post it in on uh, any uh, social media platform okay so uh, and also uh, uh, this is a way uh, for me uh, at the very start to have some activities because i don't have any social life at this stage okay unless i'm invited okay and most of my sources and i know it's already depleted but God will provide. I always say that. I always say, always say that for the past, for the rest of my life. God will exist to be there to help us. And then I survived half, more than half a century of reading. And then when I'm having problems, I just, I just uh, talk to God and tell Him, can I uh, survive? This one thing. Can I survive this whole day? I was excited for the radiotherapy. I was excited because it's the start of my treatment. But, however, what happened is that the treatment didn't... Uh, it's part of the treatment, actually, the CT scan. And I have to wait again. Okay? And then hopefully tomorrow I have a news. But I'm still waiting. Uh, you cannot just... Unless I have a million pesos which I was trying to raise, then I would be able to uh, get my uh, therapy at uh, the fastest way that I can. But however, no, it didn't happen. So, uh, so I have to wait. Okay? And then I have to uh, fall in line. That's what they did me because Filipino is really good in falling in line. Okay? We are good in falling in line. Everything is in line. But you have to follow the line. Yeah, bawal ang singit, no? Bawal ang singit. Because even as in the big cancer patients, puta ko. At may narinig nga ako sinabi ng isang staff eh. Kahit dun sa building ng oncology. This is oncology meaning uh, that means with cancer patients, with the study of cancer, oncology. So, sabi na sa akin, masaya sa cancer 
ano, building because may mga party party. Say so, yeah, no, may party party. Okay. So, looking forward for that. That's the last of December. So, I don't know if I'm going to have some treatment in December, but I know that I have to visit the doctor often uh, for follow-up because cancer is a really a uh, kid relapse. Okay? I'm not thinking about the relapse thing. I'm thinking I'm still enjoying life, meaning that I'm still living. If what I can do is share stories, then I'll do share stories. If I can do give advice, then I give advice. I know that uh, there is uh, uh, the problem with us people that we are giving good advice, but we cannot advise ourselves. Okay? That's the problem. But uh, for me, I have this time to share, then I'll share it often. Okay? buhay na na. So, if you want to talk to some, uh, midnight talk is not only related to cancer, not only related to myself, but anything goes in midnight talk. No? Kung meron kang gustong pag-usapan in English, Tagalog, no problem except for Spanish. I don't know if I could learn Spanish, but, no? So, let's, uh, let's do the midnight talk often. Nalala ko sa show noon yun, yung malipa ko. Merong midnight show talaga, no? Hindi ko nasasabihin yung mga alam I hope you remember those. I, la- I like listening to those uh, midnight talk because it has sense, okay? Not political, not anything that... Uh, it's all positive, okay? Positive thinking, even though they're talking about uh, uh, bad stories or bad happening, frustration in life. They, they tend to know how to turn it around, turn it around and make it a positive thing. okay? And then that's what I'm doing right now. This is a talk show. Talk show talaga, di tawa ko. But something that, uh, uh, that I can share. I'll, uh, I'm also going to limit my uh, talk to probably uh, uh, 10 to uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, that's all so that we can make boys, boys happen, okay? And I will be uh, listing down some topics. If you want me to uh, deal with one or two topics, then I'll just tell me, I'll do some research and I'll talk to you about it, my experience and how we can uh, share those stories in life. Okay? So, uh, again, this is uh, Chris uh, telling you uh, good morning. Dapat pala title na itong midnight talk. I'm going to tell this is a good morning night show. Good morning night show. Good morning night show. Good morning talk na lang. Uh, midnight talk na lang. Because it happens in midnight. No? At tahimik, hindi masyadong maingay. And I'm fully awake during this time. Para ako nagkumagawa pa rin ng mga graphic design. And hopefully I can do the design once I fix my laptop. Because uh, uh, my laptop has to work properly so I can do the designs. Okay? And also, maglong utak ko on the design ko. No? But, uh, really, uh, I like designing and then most of my design is in my head. I just have to leave it on the computer. No? Yun ang trabaho ko dati, graphic designer din ako. No? Hindi, hanggang isang isang araw may paggawa rin naman. Hopefully, may paggawa pa rin. No? So, uh, that's it. So, thank you very much for listening and hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. If not, tell me okay, how you want it to be uh, formatted so that we can uh, enjoy the night before we go to sleep. So, again, uh, good night and sweet dreams for everybody. Bye now. Because I have to start it somewhere. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.